Now I'm going to show how to work with stresses in an RM set. And I'll show stresses with loom cases and stresses with envelope files. So in this first one, we're going to make a copy uh, of the self-weight moment. Except call this self-weight stress. Now when I click the list generation button, I can edit this. It still has, since it's a copy, it still has elements of the main girder and the self-weight plus wet concrete sum uh, for the load case. But I want to change from moment to stresses. So I come down to result component. I can scroll through and choose stress at a point. Now the line below becomes active and I can choose the stress point. From this drop down menu it should show all of the stress points in the cross section. So here we only had two stress points, one at the top and one at the very bottom. So I can choose stress point top and modify to change this line and then also show the stress at the bottom insert after in the same plot. Now when I plot this you can see uh, the red line indicating the stress at the top uh, due to self weight and the green line indicating the stress at the bottom fiber uh, due to the self weight. You can also see on here some dashed lines with numbers next to them and these are the stress limits that were defined for the material. If I save this RM set and go out now to the material data, which is also under properties, uh, and select the concrete material, you can see the stress limits that were defined. Here we have two stress limits uh, that show the compressive stress and the tension stress limits. Back in the RM set, if I edit again and now go to this plot parameters tab, I can choose which stress limits are drawn in the plot. By default, um, all will be checked so that all stress points are shown. However, we can choose none, and now when I plot to file, you'll see that uh, the um, stress graphs uh, were basically fit to view. Uh, so they show up a lot taller now because the scale on the vertical axis has been changed. So it's the same values that were shown before, um, just scaled differently. We can also choose sh several and only show uh, some of the stress limits. So I'm going to choose to just show stress limit 2. And now when I plot to file, only stress limit 2 is shown, the negative and the positive limit for 2. Now I'm going to create an RM set showing stresses with an envelope file. So I'm going to start from scratch with a new one and call it SLS stress to show stresses at the service limit state. I will again choose the elements of the main girder for which to show the results and insert after so that it shows up in the window above. Now I'll go to envelope and choose whichever envelope file I want, sls.sub. And again, scroll through the result components until you find stress at a point, and then choose your stress point. Since this is an envelope file, we still need a leading result technically, um, but stresses can't be a leading result, so what we have as an option are just max and min. So if I choose min and max, and insert those after, I can do that same thing for the top, and the bottom. So now I have at the service limit state uh, envelope file that I created the max and min stresses at the top and the bottom. And you can see again uh, by default both stress limits are shown unless I go to the plot parameters tab and change that.